okay, my microphone. So she's refreshing. Yeah, We're crooked. Why are we crooked? I don't know. We're on, my dear. We are live. I wanted to get plugged in and and everything. The only person who's on right now is Brenda. Oh, one more person. Noreen. Hi, Noreen. Hi, Noreen. <laughs> Noreen, let us know how the sound is. And I'll try to stop yelling. Let us know how the sound is, Noreen. I have my microphone on. Yes, Noreen, let me know how the sound is, too, Irene. please. Everybody I can, just turned on my microphone. Everybody can hear Irene. Here we go. I'll Linda check. Luther is on. One, two, three. Hi, Linda. What? You just got a message. That's it. Hi, Beth. She hasn't shown up on mine yet. Linda has. Rosie, I'm here. And you get to hear the full unedited Irene this morning. <laughs> Good morning, friends. How is everybody? Say hello if you're on. I think we've already had some people saying hello. Yep. It's a nice steamy day here in western New York. How many steamy days have we had in a row now? Too many. 400? No. I was so hot. I went, and I'm supposed to be dieting, and I went, I called my husband up and said, buy what I need for a root beer float because mm. I'm about to die. So yeah. he did. He's such a good husband. Not good for me, but hey. Tara, you're beautiful. That's what Bev said. Thanks, Bev. I put some lipstick on. (laughs) We had one minute to spare, so. (laughs) I didn't. So when you see me, I'm not beautiful. Yes, you are. Lipstick or no. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, it's not about the lipstick. It's about the husband. (laughs) All right. So I'm going to get started now that we have some friends. We have some announcements. We have some new stuff. Um, we have a new <laughs> item of the month. Thank you to everyone who purchased the last item of the month. They will be on their way soon. We'll get a hold of you. And this month, we're going to do something new because it's a new month. So we're excited about that. I'm going to let Irene show you that in a little bit. Um, but first, I just wanted to make, really, I think we only have one announcement. Woo-hoo. Uh, well, maybe two announcements. So the one that I was thinking of is that we have scheduled our class open house. We have no classes left. Well, we have one, but it's full. We have continuation. True. Yes. But, but no new no. classes to tell you about. But we do have a new open house to tell you about. And that is the second Saturday of September. I'm assuming it's the second Saturday because it's the 14th um, of September. We are going to get together here at the shop in the classroom. We'll have all of our samples up. and all of our teachers here I think I believe so so um, we're looking forward to that and also I just wanted to put a little call out there if you have a a desire to learn a skill or you have a project that you would want to have as a class we are always taking suggestions we might not always be able to follow through with that but we would love to hear what you need what you want to do and what you are working on And also, um, just so you know, if you're struggling with something, anyone who works here is glad to help you. So if you don't know how to do a binding and you want to bring your binding in and say, can you just run me through this real quick? If we don't have a ton of, you know, a line of customers, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you to um, make this craft of quilting easier and more satisfying for you. So um, that's what sets us apart from other big box stores. I don't think they have knowledgeable people at the fabric counter in Walmart. Not that there's anything wrong with Walmart, but we are right here in Albion too. And if you need some help, then we're here to give it to you. The other announcement that we are super excited about and also a tiny bit stressed about is um, we are joining in on the Let's Build a Snowman quilt along sponsored by Lori Holt, who has a company called Bee in My Bonnet. And this is the what the quilt is going to look like for this quilt along. And what we are doing is we are creating kits for it, which is where the stress comes in, because we literally just got the fabric on Monday. And we need to figure out what needs to go in the kits, and we need to cut them and do all of that stuff. And Lori is beginning her process on August 4th. So 
um, that Three doesn't days away. Right. That doesn't mean at all that if you don't get your kit before August 4th, you're going to be left behind because this is the kind of thing that she posts on her blog and she does a YouTube video and both of those stay around. So um, there's no real timetable here, but we want to start when it starts. So we're getting that stuff ready and we'll be, we're hoping to host some um, little gatherings to either watch her YouTubes or um, work together on this quilt along, but we don't have any of those details yet. We usually like to have details, but um, we are at the whim of other people who are planning it and we're not in the know about everything. But we do have this adorable little puzzle. I'm a sucker for a puzzle. Um, and this is a picture of the quilt that we are going to be doing, the sew along. Sorry, I'm in that glare here. There we go. That puzzle is $12.99. 500 pieces. Yeah. Okay. Super cute. That's a nice when the kids come home for Christmas project or Thanksgiving, which I know is far away in some ways, but really. in other ways it's really not. Unfortunately, it's, it is not going to be a heat wave forever around here. So this is, um, we have these on the website. We have these in the shop. They're super cute. Um, little snowman puzzle. We also, I wanted to show you the fabrics that are in this fabric line. We have, um, we didn't buy all 51 bolts of fabric, but we do have, I think, 25 bolts of this fabric. It is, at first glance, you wouldn't even guess that it's a Christmas line, but it does have some Christmas motifs in it. And it's just, I don't know, I just love the colors. I just love it. And it's got a, a nice variety. We've got some backgrounds at the bottom and some Pans and grays and blues and greens and yellows and reds and it is just gorgeous it has a little bit of a vintage look as does the quilt um, and this is going to be the foundation of our kits so um, this is actually a fat quarter bundle it's I can't remember how much it is and I don't think I wrote it's it down very large yep it's 51 I think fat quarters so it's like 180 I think something that like that about right but um, we're going to be cutting most of them up anyway, so um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what the fabrics look like, and I'm going to let Irene hold it up to the camera so you can see them. With these fabrics, they do have um, winter motifs. I don't want to call them Christmas motifs. Well, some of them are blatantly it, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, but it could stay out. If you make this, it could stay out all winter. That's very true. Because it's not just red and green. It's everything. And there's one of the bottom ones. One of the tans. That's heavy. Holy yeah. cow. So the name of this line is Hometown Holiday. And if you want to see the rest of the prints, you can go to our website, which is www.townandcountryquiltshop.com. And you will see, um, I think you have to search for Hometown Holiday. I don't think there's a a menu tab at the top. Actually, it's one of the circles. It's one of the feature fabrics. So um, just scroll down a little bit and you can see all of the fabrics that we have in stock and um, kind of drool and get ready for the fall when everyone goes back to quilting. So, um, so that is that. That is Hometown Holiday from Lori Holt. We're super excited. Um, we also have a little bit of a bee theme here. And I wanted to show you this new um, item that we have. This is not a project. This is just a pillow. <laughs> just a pillow. The, we don't have a pattern for this. Yep. We just have the pillow. Purchase the pillow. And I love it. So I just impulsively bought it. it. I bought it through Moda and I just think it's so beautiful and I love these. So um, we do have two of these in stock if you also love it. And it is from Susan Wingett. And it is $49.99. It does have a zipper on the back where you can open it up if you need to wash something or if you just are curious about what's in there. It's just a pillow. But um, super fun in there. and super cute. So if you have a little chair where you want to put a sweet little pillow for spring and summer, then we have one for you. All right. So I also wanted to talk. I have a couple of fabrics here. And I have a kit behind me, and they are from French General Formota. We have we're 
restocking some of our um, French journal solids, which I think are my favorite solids bar none. I just, they're not even solids, which may be why I like them, but they have like a little bit of a weave and I agree. Brenda agrees. Brenda loves French journal. And we have many of them in stock. They're also on the website. And these are our two newest. I think I was in a Christmas mood when I ordered. I love that green. This one is called Garance, I think. And this one is called Fern. And these are just beautiful together. And they sort of, I don't know how well they go, but they are cousins to the fabrics that are in this quilt that's behind me, which is called what? Sunny flowers. Sunny flowers. So we have we have kits for this quilt. This is in um, what was it? Rendezvous. Brenda, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the the last line that we got from French General, we think it was called Rendezvous, and that's what these are. And we it's open, but it's not Those open. Bags don't stay closed. I know the bag. So this is the kit for this quilt. It is, I don't know how big by how big, 45 square. It's a nice, um, this would look beautiful on like a, a table if you don't have a cat. <laughs> or if you have a, a well-behaved cat that doesn't get on the table every time you put something on the table, which clearly I don't, I don't have well-behaved cats. Um, but anyway, I digress. So this is on sale this week. This was normally $66.99, and it is now, hmm. Magic. I know it's There's on the there. Pillow. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, $66.99, and it is now $53.99. So um, we have marked them down. How many do we have? We have two or three. Okay. Yep, and they are on the website, and they are also in the shop. And also, if you want to comment that you would like us to set one aside for you, go ahead. You can call or text. But this is called Sunny Flowers, and it's beautiful. And Brenda made it, and she did not say how terrible it was to put together. So I'm assuming it went together well. She should come at any second now. Yep. No, <laughs> no problem at all. All right, so that is our sale item. I'm all sorts of out of order here. So we talked about the French General. And then last week, I introduced a new, we're calling it a department, and we haven't, I'm not sure about the name yet. I, I think I might rename it sometime, but at this point, and I'm also open to suggestions, at this point, the name of it is Town and Country Frugal Finds. And I have been scouring the internet for high quality quilt shop fabric that is inexpensive. And um, gives you a deal. So we have three new ones to add to our collection. This one is from a line we actually did have this line and we sold out of this fabric because it's so beautiful. This is called, um, I think it's like strawberries, tossed strawberries on chocolate. It's from the Heavenly Hedgerow line. If any of you um, are familiar with the bunny quilt that we had. You might want to explain, yeah, Heavenly Hedgerow. You might want to explain why that is considered a discounted now. Ah, so this is, we don't have, well, normally we won't have the whole line. We, we don't have much left for this. But we're buying at a discount fabrics so that you can get them at, the, at a discount. So this one, it, all three of these are $7.99 each. They're still the same high quality. They're still from the same, um, these three happen to be from FIO, from the same companies that we normally order from. But they're just an opportunity for you to save some money and make some cute stuff at the same time. So if you are going to purchase these, I would get everything you need. Oh yeah, they won't be here Plus a little more because the reason they're discounted is they're no longer being produced. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you want, like I'm thinking this would be, I'm stuck on these dresses for my little girl. That would be a gorgeous dress, but I'm going to get enough so that I don't run out because I won't see it again. So same way with all of the discounted ones. If you really like them, get what you need, maybe plus a little bit more. This is another one. It's got these sort of lupin. spiky lupin. They look oh, like lupin. That's a better word than spiky flowers, which is what I was going to say. This is a I nice know. shades of pink. Look at how nice it looks with that. Oh, wow. That's perfect. Even the green. Even though the stem is black, it looks nice with the green. Yeah. 
And then I think this, those are lupins. Oops, sorry. This one is similar to the one we had last week. Was that it was last pink. Week? Yep, the last time was pink, and this one is orange. That would make another sweet dress yes, for it would. somebody's baby girl. My baby girl. My Sophia. So those are our newest in our collection of discount fabrics. It's on the website as Town & Country Frugal Finds. I'm using my frugal muscle to find them. And then we have a couple of super cute patterns that are brand new to us. Um, I just I just love this this Highland cow. They are all the rage. Let me tell Isn't you. Isn't he sweet? They are. Don't everywhere. you just want to pet him? These are thirty nine point seven five by forty five point two five. So it's not a big quilt, but it's adorable. It would make a great baby quilt. Great to be done with solids. We are we're thinking maybe in the fall we're gonna make some kits of these with solids. So um, stay tuned for that. But this is called Cattle Call a Highland Coo. I don't know why it's called that. When I first heard of this pattern, I wrote down, this is embarrassing, I shouldn't say it, but C-O-U-P, as if it was a coo. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that's not what it is. I it's think somebody call. misspelled it. I think it was supposed to be Highland Cow, but, you know. Maybe. Or no, maybe, I'm kidding. Maybe in know. Scotland they call them coos. Oh, maybe. Help us out here if you know. <laughs> You're but Scottish, anyway, let me know. Super cute. And I'm assuming it's Scottish because that's where the Highlands are, yeah. right? Yeah, it looks like Scotland in the background there. Sure does. Or New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Same um, thing. so the next one we have, and I've seen this all over the internet, so um, I don't know why I haven't had it before now, but this is called the Mini Exploding Heart. And this is only 36 inches by 36 inches. So it is. I'm going to do one of these. Small. It'll look great in boutique on yeah. black. It will. I just want you to notice, I love math, and I want you to notice the name of the company, Slice of Pie. I noticed that. That is know. awesome. Very so, yes, this is very small, 36 by, it's a baby wall hanging. <laughs> How big are those triangles, do you think? Oh, I bet they're tiny. Does, oh, two and a half, all right. Two-inch finish quarter square triangle die is in here. Two and a half half square triangle. It calls for the block lock ruler. I'm not using the block Take lock ruler. Take a guess at what Irene's going to do. I'm going to tuckerize it. Because half square triangles, you eat it, eat it once, and you can mm -hmm. tuckerize it in no time. Faster than I can do block lock, let me tell you. I'm not very coordinated with those. I don't even know if I can still get block lock. So yeah. I'm glad we have the tucker. That's true. All right. That is all I had to talk about. So I'm going to turn over the stage, the mic, the cutting whatever. table, cut the table. <laughs> to Irene. And she's got some fun stuff to share with you. Hello. Hi, Hello. How is everyone doing? You having a great day? Um, I'm a little discombobulated because um, this is going to shock you, but when I get here in the morning, I just want to chit-chat with these lovely ladies and not prepare myself, but I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, it says on here I was supposed to tell you about the Sunny Flowers kit, but you know what? She did it. We're good. Apparently, I, I wasn't it. very organized. No, it's either. fine. Just a reminder, it's $53.99, and this is a pretty quilt. Um, our item of the month. And our item of the month, for those who are unfamiliar with it, is a pre-sale item. It's a bundle, again. Um, it's a pre-sale item, which means you are going to either go online, come in and see us, whatever. Pay for it. We order it. And at the end of the month, this is August 1st, so you got a little bit of time, but don't put it off. August goes like the wind because next thing you know, it'll be September and you will have missed it. But at the end of the month, we order them, and they come in usually within a week, and we call you up and say, come get your, your beautiful purchase. So this month, item of the month, we're kind of in a mode getting you ready for retreat. So um, And back to sewing season. And back to sewing season. So our item of the month, is this, is it this size? Approximately. Okay, it's about this size. It is a wool mat. Actually, it is a rectangle. That one's a It's square. a rectangle. 
But I we just, wanted to show you what it was like outside of the package. Yeah, and I also needed to show you the rest of the bundle. So the one you will be getting is a rectangle, okay? Um, these are extremely handy. Even if you don't go to retreats, these are very handy to set. You can set it right on your sewing machine or your sewing table or your, your what do you call that, ironing board. When you use wool, if you steam something especially, you'll put it down, put your, your thing here, and we'll show you some of this in the Thursdays to come. If you press and steam, what happens is some of the steam goes into the wool and it literally presses it from both sides. It steams it from both sides. Um, I love my wool mat. I have a gigundous one on my cutting station. I use it. The only time I don't use it is when I'm appliquing with Misty Fuse because it tends to end up on the mat because I miss the applique thing. All right, so the other thing, and again, don't forget, yours will be a rectangle. The other thing that's going in the bundle is the cleaning tool. And it's an interesting looking little thing. Let me hold it up against the mat. Okay. Can we hold it up here? I'm trying to think what it looks like. I don't know. It looks like a wool mat cleaning tool. Yes, it does. But it, it reminds little... me of something, and I don't right. know what it is. But um, probably a farm implement. Knowing probably me. knowing me. So it's got these little tiny teeth on them. Okay. So what you do when it gets cruddy, and this one's not bad. So it's gonna. Be, I'll bring mine in. Not next week because I won't be here. But after that, what you do is you, <laughs> and it works hard. Is you pull like this and it gets the crud off all the crud and when you're done you have a beautiful clean mat just like brand new now you're probably saying but you're taking some of the wool there's a lot of wool here I don't you're gonna have to do this a lot of times to destroy this whole mat let me tell you hang on I got wool up my nose <laughs> all right and you just do that so if you scorch it if you if you get any um, misty fuse on here this will take it right off I even do the sides because my sides get dirty I don't know why I don't know what I'm doing but they catch all the little fabrics the little what do you call those strings I'll get it eventually hang in there look at that Ooh, took all kinds of crud off there and then, oops, <laughs> it's everywhere. And then the last one. And then if you wanted to, you could do the other side. See, get this stuff right off. This is an awesome thing. So what we are doing is we are bundling it. I shouldn't clean this whole thing. We won't have anything for next week. Well, you can bring yours next time. I'll have to bring it ahead of time because I'm not here next week. I am going to see my baby boys, their lovely ladies, and my grandbabies. I'm so excited. So, these two. It the will be very, very boring next week. So <laughs> the bigger knows. one, okay, the rectangle. And the rectangle is, okay, the two together, the tool with the bigger <coughs> mat would be normally $44.98. I'm feeling wool all over me. It is on sale for $35.98. So you get the bigger mat, okay, the rectangle, and the cleaning tool for $35.98. You go online or come in or however you want to do it, give us a call. You prepay for it, and then in a month, we will order them. Look at all this fuzz. Isn't that fun? Oh, Bev is making a comment. Um, it's pretty good at getting rid of iron stains. So on the mats as well, which is very That's true. That's awesome. Yep. If you scorch your mat, you just have to <laughs> on that thing over. I'm it. sorry. You wouldn't think there was that much yucky on there, but there was. So um, just let us and know. And it looks good as new now. Yeah. Looks like it's brand new. Mm -hmm. It looks like my little mouse. <laughs> I know. Look. Brenda has a pet mouse. Actually, it's not. It's just visiting her house. She told us about it this morning. So this is its friend. You could take this home. Maybe you be able to catch him. Um, so, again, item of the month, prepay. Crap. 
more. Let us know. Yeah, you'll get a whole family. So, all righty. Are we ready for three, two, one? I'm yeah. sorry. I am fascinated with this for some reason. All right, three, two, one. For those of you who don't know, this is how we end. And what they are is items that we've had. Now I feel all scratchy. Um, items that we've had in the store that need a new home, a new loving home. So um, they are, many of them are one of a kind or two of a kind. And when they're gone, they're gone. We don't reorder nothing. So three, <laughs> I got wool everywhere. Three is always a fabric. And I know I say this every time. But seriously, if you don't buy this, it's going to go home with me and I don't need it. This is $3 a yard. It is a boutique, of course, because I got to pick it out. And look how bright and cheery it is. It'd be a beautiful back. I think that would be a gorgeous backing. It would be a very interesting binding, I think. Or just, you know, something, a pieces in your, in your, in your, um, what do you call that? Quilt. Okay, there's about nine ish, maybe nine and a half um, yards, three dollars a yard. So if you were doing a backing, like I just did um, a quilt, or I looked at a quilt and they want four and a half yards backing, that's like just over 12. So that's worth it. Okay, it's like 13.50 for a backing. How often do you buy four yards for 12 bucks? So um, this will be out front. Do not waste time if you love it because these very often don't stick around. They, they usually don't make it through Saturday, but occasionally they do. It all depends on who comes in and so forth. But if you don't buy it, I will. All right. Two are applicable. Applique needles, okay? okay? And I'm going to let Tara show you these. We have two of them. They are, it says number 10. I don't hand applique, so I don't even know. It says it's number 10 and should be used for sewing purposes only. What else are you going to use? <laughs> it's kind of scary. Um, they're Hiroshima when needles. When your kid finger, this is not the needle. Well, it does say keep them, them out of reach of small children. Um, they're called Hiroshima needles, superior polished finish. Number 10s, are they both number 10s? Yep. They are regular $9.59. They're on sale for $4.99. And you're probably wondering how many are in here, and I really don't know. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't tell me how many there are. You'd think they would, but no. So we have two of those for $4.99 each. And then this one, I hate to see it go. I do have one at home, so eventually I'll get it done. Our number one, we're, we're gearing up for the fall, is our Mr. Gobbler. Isn't he, is that what he's called? No, he's turkey. just called a turkey. <laughs> um, but it's a applique, and it has, of course, the pattern. And then it has all of the pre-fused pieces in here to make Mr. Gobbler. All you've got it, I'm calling him Mr. Gobbler. Um, all you have to do is provide the backing or the background, whatever and you want to call it. already have the fusible on them. Yep, it's already pre-fused. So you These, just stick them on and sew around. If you like him, we also, not part of the sale, he's our one and only, okay? And Tara's going to flip him around and look at the price and tell me how much we're selling him for. It is fifteen now, so seven fifty. Woohoo! The three two one price. And so you might want to give us a little grace on the website because I'm not sure if I put that up there yet. So if you really like this, not on sale. We have pumpkins that are really pretty. We have like three or four, I think. And I think there's a little mouse. And there might be a mouse somewhere. We've had, you know, like we've had a cat, we've had other ones. But um, these are so nice because it is. All the fusing is done for you. All the pieces are right there. They're cut. And you just put it on your backing and away you go. So that's our number one for $7.50 because there's one of them. When he's gone, we're done. I'm not even sure we can get this anymore. Our number two are the applique needles, size number 10. 
and they are $4.99 a piece, regular $9.50 each. Sorry, you got hiccups. And our $3 fabric, which may become my $3 fabric, is $3. That's why it's $3 fabric. It's number three. Very, very, very pretty. I love bright colors. So, uh, just a quick update on the retreat. We are still taking application, not application, registration. That's the word I want. We are getting close on the first one. Um, the second one, I have plenty of room. So the first one is November 7th through the 10th. And the second one is the 14th through the 17th. Um, you can come for four, three or four days, whichever you prefer. And um, we have registrations here. So I got to res resupply them. And, um, or you can send me an email or send Tara an email telling me you need a registration and then um, you'll save your spot. All right. Um, was there anything else? Were there any questions, Brenda? As oh. far as new classes, like Tara said, if you have an idea, please let us know. Um, we don't see everything because we're very busy. So if there's something you really like, we'll try. We can't guarantee we know how to do it or can learn how to do it, but we can try. So, okay, I think we're good. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and upcoming week. I go out on Sunday and I come back seven, eight days later so I can spend some time with my babies. So, can't wait. So, all right. You guys have a great weekend and come see us. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.